Hey everyone, this is Dirk with another FromWhereIDrone.com quick tutorial. And basically what I wanted to show you today is how I use the map feature up here inside of Adobe Lightroom. So one of the things I'm trying to do now that I'm shooting a lot of aerial photography with my drone is trying to figure out, you know, what is the best height for, you know, getting the right angle of a certain, you know, shot, like say this shot of the the uh, church that you see here, it's like, should I get this at 100 feet, 150 feet, 200 feet, you know? Um, and I'm trying to get better at guessing, you know, how high I am when I'm getting a shot. And one of the ways I can check that is when I come over here to the map dialog box, I can come over and I can see with this photo selected that I shot it at about 240 feet. So right here is the altitude. If you don't have this option, make sure you change it from default to location and you'll pull up the altitude dialog box right here. And then also we have access to the GPS. So if someone asked you where you shot a certain photo or if you just wanted to bookmark it, you could punch in the GPS coordinates into Google and you know give them the exact location or you could archive it for your records or something like that. Another cool feature with this map dialog box is I can zoom in here I'm just scrolling with my mouse and you can see in this particular area in Iceland I just got back from a big trip in Iceland I shot two photos right here six photos here eight photos here and they're all selected down here and I can kind of get an idea of what I shot and where and I can zoom out with this slider here and I can change the viewing mode from hybrid to roadmap and this is all based on uh, Google Maps. So pretty cool feature. You can look at the satellite view and you know there's a couple other settings in here. I just leave it on the hybrid. But one of the things I think is interesting is if I come over, I've already set up um, a couple of these save locations. If I click on the arrow, it takes me to a save location where I basically wanted to save the West Iceland photos. And if I click on here, I have 17 photos and I can zoom in and I took 11 right there and you can get a quick little preview of what you shot and if you wanted to start editing a photo just double click right there and here we are you know go right over here to the develop and you can start editing your photos so pretty cool feature I'm going to come back here to the maps uh, one way that you can do this is you can scroll out and you can kind of move to an area that you want to save and you can hit the plus here and you can name it so I'll call this Iceland and I can set the radius you know to a couple miles five miles and it'll just include this area but there's this box right here that you could check and if you check this and you hit create whenever you go to export any of the photos that were are within this group it will remove the location data so why would you want to do that well maybe you don't want to tell people where you shot or if you shot by your house maybe you don't want people to know you know the area that you live in or Maybe you just want to keep your location secret. Whatever the reason is, you can have access to that feature right there. And if I come over here, you click on the little arrow and it will go to your um, saved location. And for instance, I shot this really cool DC-3 plane in Iceland, which you might be able to tell. There's a little plane right here. And if you know a buddy was like, how do you get there? I could tell him, well, you go on the one and then there's a road and you can get to it you know, by following this path or whatever. So kind of a neat feature. I really like checking out the, the metadata with regards to the altitude. So if this was helpful to you, I would love if you could like or comment and even subscribe. And please let me know if these are helpful and what else you would like to learn about. Catch you guys later.